It's some 20 seconds. It's some 20 seconds. Hello and welcome back. It is cocktail time. I'm Kimberly and this is the Tickled Pink Events page. We are on our way through 25 cocktails of Christmas. And I want to thank you all for being on this journey thus far. If you're new to the journey, um, go back and watch and be sure to click subscribe. And if you've been on this journey, thank you for coming back. I'm so happy to have you here. Now today's cocktail is very, very simple, but it has a special place in my heart and I think it's really an elegant touch to any dinner party. Today I'm making a Cur Real. Now a Cur Real is two ingredients. It's a raspberry liqueur and champagne. And the reason it's really special to me is because it reminded me of my time in Paris and anytime you go to a really nice restaurant, they serve this as an aperitif. And an aperitif is a cocktail you have prior to the meal, um, unlike a digestif that you have post meal. So when we went to like nicer restaurants, it was always the first course was to have an aperitif of a cur royale. So I thought if you're having a dinner party this holiday season and you kind of want to impress your friends, you can start off with this really easy cocktail. It's very two ingredients and takes nothing to assemble. So since it's very easy, I thought today I would demonstrate the proper way to open up a bottle of champagne. So we're just going to unwrap the foil. Kind of sometimes it's easier than others. Oh man. Okay. Got the foil off. Then we are going to loosen the cage on the cork. Now I know it's super sexy and fun to like pop the corks everywhere and do all that, but here's the reason you don't want your cork flying and you don't want to pop it into everywhere. Number one, it wastes good alcohol. You don't buy a nice bottle of champagne to have it spill all over your floor. And if you are, then you're, you're balling like that, then do it. And secondly, it's dangerous. You could seriously injure yourself or others by just flinging this cork out. It pops out at a huge velocity and it could injure an eye or take somebody out. So the classy proper way is you actually want no sound at all. I know um, champagne is synonymous with corks popping, but if you're really doing it correctly, it should make very little sound. So what we're going to do, what I do is I take a dishcloth because sometimes it's tough and I hold it by the bottom and I cup the top of the champagne cork with the towel and instead of pulling, you want to squeeze and turn oh, and it <laughs> popped anyway but I have the cork in my hand and you see the way it popped that that quickly that's a lot of pressure with the carbonation in there so with that if I had just let it fly I could have hurt somebody so I have it securely in my hand most times you can ease it out and it just goes poof and that's nice too but the pop is fun and it's great and it's the holidays, but just make sure you secure the cork so you don't injure yourself or your friends because, you know, the holidays aren't fun if you're missing an eye. So now that we're done with the, the bummer part, let's pick our drink. A Cur Royale is two little ingredients. I could not resist buying this miniature of Chambord. I just thought it was adorable and I'm, you know, for demonstration purposes, but how cute is this? You can even give these as favors to people at a party, like throw a little Chambord and they can take it home. So we take Chambord, which is a, um, raspberry liqueur from France and we pour it into the bottom of our champagne flute and it's about a couple of ounces and then we top with our champagne and we tilt to the side as I showed you so you don't get all the overflow of the bubbles and you just pour in kind of tilt up and look at this pretty violet color that comes out and it's really Kind of you know beautiful and festive and the more champagne the more like purpley violet it gets and we do that i just like to let it settle one more time i'm gonna do a little more because you know it's holidays and there you have it it's a cur royale this is definitely a really nice touch to any dinner party to kick off the evening. It's simple, it's easy, and it's elegant. And I wish all of you a very happy holidays. Thank you for joining us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Cheers!